Welcome to another edition of Extraordinary Sports. I'm Alex Monaco, David Popkins, one of my longtime friends from our hometown, Tierra Santa. About to get it in in a little Madden playing the Super Bowl. So we're friends before, but yeah. I mean, we'll, agree, be, we'll be friends agree. after this. I mean, it's well, going to be a very humbling, humbling game for you. I think the loser should have to do something. I'd say has to do the cat daddy dance that, uh, that Kate Upton did. So you're in double A. I just finished advanced day. I was uh, postseason all star in advanced day. And you're playing right field? No, I played left and right. Wow. Oh, that's user! First playing a game! Oh, yeah! He's distracting me with this question. So you have quite an amazing story, my friend. Youngest three brothers. Is that humbling on any level, especially being an athlete? Oh, yeah. I used to get whooped. We'd always play tennis, baseball outside in the garage. And I never, I, I didn't win baseball. once. Yep! Richard, I told you about him! Hit him! Oh, oh come on, don't reach his Did that make you tougher? I oh, yeah, yeah. You like that? Me, I mean, I feel like a lot of people don't know how to deal with, with losing because they win at everything when they're younger and they, they reach a little adversity when they grow up and people start to even out and they don't know how to handle it. And it definitely humbled me. Oh, you're killing yeah, battery time. In the middle of third and five! Alright, three, two, one. You throw on Brandon Victor! Don't throw on him! I love using baseballs as a reference point to other people when talking about failing because in baseball, the best hitters of all time got on four times out of ten and out six. Which is failing more than you're succeeding. I love that aspect of it. It weeds out the, the weak-minded. And it's really sad because when you're inconsistent with your emotions, you're inconsistent with the results. You want to say it or do I need it? I, I can't take all the credits. Those little three-inch guys right there. Where do you sit in terms of emotions in baseball? For me, it is definitely a priority to try to stay even. I think my dad always told me, he's like, hey, whether you strike out or hit a home run, I should be able to come in the fifth inning and be able to not tell if you're having a good game or a bad game. Really? I hope you kick the field goal so you can get on the board. I just heard. Yeah, did I miss that field goal? Oh! It's uh, halftime. Um, Alex is uh, losing 21 to three. I'm upset, I give three points. That's unacceptable. It's 21 three. I'm losing, but I gotta say, I like where I'm at. You're getting the ball at halftime. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. I gotta visualize, visualize. <sighs> how has visualization helped you in baseball? Tremendously. I'm, I'm a big um, believer in visualization. Before I get bad, I do like a little mental rehearsal. And guys on my team make fun of me because they'll, uh, they'll be laughing, so I'll just go sit in the corner and I'll be visualizing my bat. I'll be like... Before you're at bat. Yeah, before my bat. And then I'll go up there, and it's really freaky sometimes when you do exactly what you mentally rehearsed before. It's actually scary. It almost feels like you're in control of the game. Oh, feed that. That's the pass oh, it's Offensive pass ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, when is there an offensive lineman Clearly. ever for pass interference? I started getting into uh, sports psychology. Met with that person um, a couple times a month and just dramatically changed the way I thought. And that the year after I was all conference, almost hit 400 in the Big West. It was one of the best. Did you put on an NFL Blitz cheat, dude? Honestly. <laughs> you ever played such a poor video game mm -hmm. performance that it affects the rest of your day? Um, I'm going to be honest. I definitely have. So for you, when you get to the league, the work has just begun. Oh, Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. If I didn't respect you more, I would, I would throw a couple picks, but I have too much respect for you <laughs> to play to have mercy. I just have a big chip on my shoulder from just everything. Everything that's ever happened adversity in my life, and I'm so grateful for it, because without it, I, I don't think I'd be the, the same person I am. I, I wake up every morning with a fire, like, I'm gonna get this lift in, I'm gonna go stretch, I'm gonna go throw, I'm gonna go hit, I'm gonna take five balls, I'm gonna go run. The contrast in your life has helped define me. In uh, yeah, 100%. Without a and you wouldn't have it any other way. No, no, I'm so grateful for it. I can't put this on the internet. I'm never gonna get Ocho Cinco to play me in FIFA. And I can't, like I said, I can't take all the credit. <laughs> the little guys out there just playing the hard. I'm just calling the play. I just am looking forward to the cat daddy. Oh. Is that Decker? Is that Decker? High stepping. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Get up and get in, baby. The little giants are on the ball. 
That's a celebration down 40. I, can't, I don't even want to see what it would be if he was winning the game. So a bet's a bet. I lost. Apparently David wanted the loser to Cat Daddy. Risk cold, mama call a winner. Swish it full of niggas, daddy call a dinner. Baby got ass, shelter call it thinner. Scoopy BS Jackson's get it. Alex Monaco, Extraordinary Sports. David Popkins, future MLB star. Not just on paper. Overall is a man. Thank you, appreciate it. All the way across the board. God deserves it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace! In five, are we doing the old school PS2 fourth and three rule? Hey, your house, your rules. Well, what do you play? Uh, I say you can do whatever your heart desires. But you know, but I would say oh, let's just, we'll just play it. We're adults now. Or at least you're an adult.